AI experts are reaching a consensus that truly intelligent machines are possible. But what does it mean to be intelligent? And how can we make truly intelligent computers? For 50 years, we said if a computer can insert some problem here, then it must be intelligent. A famous early example involved the game of chess. If a computer could play a good game of chess, then it must be intelligent. When computer programs were subsequently developed, which played an excellent game of chess that showed no other signs of intelligence, we had to admit that the definition was too narrow. So we added to the list and created the applications, including the ability to understand spoken language, more recently to drive a car, plus other activities, including attempting to pass a Turing test, which will get a video of its own. There are problems with any such list. First, being able to do the things on the list ultimately doesn't seem to make computers generally intelligent. Secondly, no matter what actions you choose to put on the list, there will be perfectly intelligent people who can't do them. For example, I can't play chess, but I think I'm intelligent. Finally, whatever we put on the list drives software development in that direction at the expense of other more general areas. For example, great strides have been made toward creating systems which can pass a Turing test, but even the best of them don't show signs of general intelligence. In specific areas, computer systems may show great intelligence, but common sense, not so much. A primary distinction between human intelligence and computers is that we humans develop common sense first. Babies play with blocks and learn about gravity, balance, and a myriad other abstract concepts long before they learn their first words. To develop real-world intelligence, an AGI will need to have contact with the real world. AGI will therefore necessarily emerge from autonomous robots. We need a general theory of intelligence, and I have created this one from a general model of robotic software. It incorporates eight elements which I'll list and then justify in this and other videos. In order to seem intelligent, a system, or a person for that matter, must be able to do these eight things. Sense its environment, act on its environment, analyze inputs and do its best to make sense of its environment, internally model its environment in three dimensions, remember or learn including combinations of inputs and actions and their results, have internal rules or goals. In humans, we call these instincts. Simulate possible actions and select for positive predicted results. Perform these actions with sufficient speed and magnitude to respond to real-world conditions and useful time frames. Let's consider these eight elements in terms of a simple mobile robot. For example, a telepresence robot, which relies on human intelligence via a Wi-Fi connection to perform a useful function. This robot can sense its environment with sight and sound, and can impact its environment with motion, its arm and gripper, and with sound and images from its controller. Would such a robot appear intelligent? Of course it would. It would reflect all the intelligence of the person at the other end of the Wi-Fi link. So what is the human doing at the other end of the link? Her brain considers all the available inputs or senses. It figures out appropriate actions and makes responses. It analyzes inputs to distinguish recognizable sounds and see recognizable objects. Someone says something, and it is interpreted not just as words, but in the context of all previous knowledge and experience. The brain maintains a mental model of her surroundings. Where can she go, what objects are where, and what people are nearby. The mind considers possible responses and selects the best based on internal goals. Then she performs the selected action. The brain can then remember the inputs, her action, and the quality of the result for future decisions. She can learn from her successes and her mistakes. If we replace the human on the other end of the link with a computer, it must, at a minimum, perform a similar set of actions in order to appear intelligent. These boil down to the set of eight elements. Could such a computer robot play with blocks and learn common sense? I believe so. 
Within this framework, a computer might learn to understand language, play chess, drive a car, etc. Although there are only eight elements, this is not simple software. Consider that existing software makes only a portion of these elements. Chess playing programs, for example, are focused on simulating possible actions and evaluating them against goals. A speech recognition program is good at sound and input analysis. Self-driving cars maintain an excellent continuous model of their environment, while autonomous robots do a little bit of everything. Setting the goals is where the overall behavior of an AGI will be defined, where the laws of robotics will be implanted, if you will. I will expand on each of these elements of intelligence in subsequent videos to show how they could be created in computers and how they could encompass intelligent behavior, creativity, and perhaps even consciousness. For more on this timely topic, read my new book, Will Computers Revolt? Preparing for the Future of Artificial Intelligence. Available now at Amazon and book retailers worldwide in paperback, hardcover, and ebook editions.